So this hotel is just so well maintained, it's like key card access, great stuff. The only problem with it now is no one used to know about this hotel. Now, because of bloody good reviews online, <laughs> a lot of people, foreigners, are using this hotel. And it's going to get to the point soon where it's going to be hard to get a room here when you need one. Because this hotel is one of the only hotels in this whole bloody massive area and it's probably the best one. So. Oh, oh well. <laughs> All good things always come to an end, don't they? So. Yeah, it's just bloody annoying. Find a good hotel like that that no one really knows about and the next thing you know lovely person knows about it. I think those were either Chinese or Koreans. There's a bloody Western guy getting married this morning, leaving. Another guy came to sit with me. He was an unhappy looking foreigner from America or England or somewhere. Just went past him again on the way back from my coffee. and <laughs> He looks absolutely miserable whatever's going on in his life but I'm just going up to the shopping mall to get my lunch this looks like a really nice um, papaya salad restaurant it's called Sondam on Tree but I just want something basic for lunch I'm going to meet Cameron tonight go for dinner again he's working till 4 today I think So where I was yesterday, late afternoon, with the amazing view, is that box, that glass box on top of the apartment building there. That is just the most luxurious apartment I've ever been in. The lobby downstairs, the swimming pool upstairs, the co-working spaces are just amazing. However, the room is tiny, absolutely tiny. But apparently like it's mainly designed for like people living on their own yeah you couldn't have two people in one of those rooms well you could It'd be a bloody jam though um but yeah so he's paying 200 pounds a month to live in there but yeah i mean gym swimming pool on the roof with amazing views um, he's, he likes it, although he's talking about moving to a different one. So Cameron's condo's there, the swimming pool's just there at the top. And this is the sky train. I've been lazy, I'm only going one stop. You can literally see it where that train is in front of us, but it's so bloody hot in the middle of the day. I've decided to take the sky train. 30p <laughs> and my hotel is just here Ban Paknam home so I've come to Big C for my lunch I'm in like the food court that thing there cost me about £1.30 <laughs> it's pork with noodles and a really nice sauce with veg well it's like a gluttonous sauce but yeah and a big pepsi and in total yeah. in total that's cost me like a couple of pounds yeah chilling out after my super stressful week so i'm treating myself some waffles for dessert <laughs> only 10 by each which is like 25 less than you know, 20 it's like 20p each <laughs> Then I'm gonna have an ice cream because everyone's buying it from over there and it, the, the cones look amazing. There's so many good food choices here for about two pounds a meal. <laughs> you've got a huge supermarket upstairs, you've got restaurants, sushi places downstairs, like more expensive, but 10 for eat as much sushi as you like. <laughs> Crazy. 
gonna get an ice cream from Mixu. Oh, actually, that's the same one they had in Vietnam. So where does that come from, Mixu? Getting one of those cones. <laughs> Pretty good. 15 baht, it's like 30 p. So this road is pretty busy in the morning. It's just gone six o'clock. I'm walking up to where that flashing sign is there. And then I go a little further and there's a fitness park on the river. The monks just collecting offerings. Hi. She's got a lovely smile. She says hello to me when I walk past every time. Yeah, you've got to exercise at this time of day because by 8 o'clock it's too hot. I did a really good run yesterday. I ran, um, well I had to follow some streets, some back streets, really quite complicated, but I'd done it once before in the opposite direction. And it brings you onto this really big straight road that dead ends at the river. Um, so yeah, I ran about three miles down there. Got attacked by some dogs, but <laughs> I know how to deal with dogs. Yeah, so another way of getting to where I went yesterday is you go down here and it becomes a T junction about 700 meters, and you hit that really big road headed to the dead end. But it's even wider than this road, is it? Might be a little bit wider than this road, and it's literally. It starts just at the top of this road where the sign is and it goes on an angle for about four and a half miles but it's um, there's a lot of business like uh, factories down there producing things a ton of people it's way busier than this road um, a lot of people on motorbikes just going to work and there's a few schools down there it's a very interesting area um, one of its names is Pac-Man. Pac-Man, which means, back means mouth. Nam means river, so mouth of the river. Because yeah, the Chao Phraya River literally comes out um, just down where that road dead ends. And the other name for this area is Samut Prakan. Let me get this right. Samut means fortress. Uh, does it? No, no. Samut means ocean and Prakam means fortress, so it's like ocean fortress. Because at the mouth of the river, there used to be uh, there's some forts to protect it. I think the French once invaded uh, that river. Um, so, yeah. Very interesting area. Samut Prakam. So, yeah, Samut meaning oh, ocean or gulf. It's the goal for Thailand and then Parakan means fortress. So it's 6.21 in the morning, we're just going to go up that way. 31 degrees. Although it doesn't feel anything like as hot as it did in Taiwan. That heat in Taiwan was brutal. It was cloudy all day yesterday, it's still like 30 degrees but it's not killing you. <laughs> yeah, I do feel incredibly comfortable in Thailand. It's just, <laughs> it's the bloody visas, man. I would happily live here for the rest of my life, but it's getting the visa, long-term visa. So the road I was talking about that goes to the dead end, it's that one. Thai Ban Road, Tanan Thai Ban, in fact Ban. They never bloody spell things right in English, like it's hard enough learning Thai, but yeah, so they've spelt in Thai and then they've spelt it different. It should be double A's, like it should be a T H double A Y and then there should be a double A in the Ban as well, so it's Ban, meaning home. But, um, hey, it's their country, right? <laughs> I don't know who does the signage. Yeah, I didn't take my camera yesterday because I was jogging, but, um, I got almost right to the end of that road and 
I had no problems. And I got attacked by a group of dogs, about six dogs. They wanted to attack me, they were barking aggressively at me and chasing me, but I managed to ward them off. But it's a bit hairy, I don't think I'll do that again. It's weird, yeah, it's this big, big road and it's like three lanes or four lanes either side. And it just comes to this roundabout on the river, at the mouth of the river, Bank Nam. And uh, that's it. But yeah, they get very few foreigners down there because you wouldn't really have a reason to go down there. I just love to explore like areas that you, there's no real reason to go down. Now, I'm not going to lie, this water is absolutely disgusting, but there's dinosaurs living in here. Look. See that massive bloody monitor lizard? It's just going off for a swim. I saw one in the river the other day, and it was three or four times the size of that thing. It looked more like a crocodile. But yeah, it's pretty much an open sewer. <laughs> but somehow those dinosaurs can survive in that. I don't think I'd survive too long in that. And that's uh, to call it a uh, a gate to let the water in and out because the river's just on the other side here. I really like this area. I think Cameron, my mate's wondering why I'm spending so long here. But then I told him just let me do my thing, I'm fine. He doesn't need to entertain me. It's hard to describe but Thailand is an incredibly relaxing place to be, like, for me. It's just like, it's been a real difficult one because I had to leave here a few years ago for various different reasons and I really did not want to leave. And it really, uh, Yeah, it made it really hard for me to see this as home. Ooh, bloody hell, look at the size of that. Morning. This is a big commercial river. That's the first time, actually, I've seen a big boat. Good morning. Good morning. Sabadi. <laughs> now they are, to be honest. They're quite cheeky, the ties. But they're also... Um, yeah, I guess they're pretty friendly. Wow. Yeah, that is a big ship, man. So the mouth of the river, Bang Nam, is, you can kind of, yeah, probably where you can see on the horizon or just around the corner, that is the mouth of the river. Um, wow, there's a sh there were no like big ships in here when I came down two or three days ago. Now it's full of them. Wow. Yeah, just around there is the mouth of the river and that opens out onto the Gulf of Thailand. This is the biggest river in Thailand and it basically heads pretty much directly north to Chiang Mai, the old city where I used to live. Um, but it's made up of a number of smaller rivers that come down from the north, including the Mei Ping, I think, which is the one that goes through Chiang Mai, but then it joins another river in somewhere like Nakhon Sawan, and then it becomes the Chao Phraya from memory. Oh, this is so peaceful. I love space. <laughs> That's one thing, I was in Taiwan eight days, and I felt like I was being suffocated. It just felt really, really, suffocating. That's probably just in the wrong part of Taiwan. <laughs> Bloody hell, can you see that little boat that's gone up alongside it? Jesus, what the hell are they doing? I would not want to be on the little boat next to that huge boat. That seems totally unnecessary. 
We've got this one coming towards us. Yeah, this is, so those boats don't go much further than this. I think the main docks are here and there's quite a few docks down there and then there's a few here. But then the, the, the city starts and there's some bridges that I don't think those would get under. Um, yeah. So they'll be dropping off their cargo here. Um, Jesus. And the fitness park I'm heading to is just, just there, where that little boat's heading off to now. Yeah, this is a super interesting part of Bangkok, or Greater Bangkok. That's an island on the other side there, it's got a temple on and some other things, so yeah, I think there's a nature walk as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of boats these are, but <laughs> they don't look in great condition. It looks very old. What flag is it flying? At? You can see a Thai flag out there, I think. Must be Thai. Because the big the biggest port in Thailand, I think, is Lam Chabang, which is, if you go out into the ocean, turn left and head about 50, 70 kilometers that way, you get to Lam Chabang. Some sort of industrial boat. No smoking on that boat. Big sign, no smoking. <laughs> so the Sky Tower is actually free to visit. Um, I haven't been up yet because I got such a good view from um, Cameron's condominium the other day. I'm not sure you're going to get a better view than that. I'll probably go up and have a look. Um, yeah, it looks pretty uh, spectacular probably not open at this time of day. There's a shopping mall just down here, I think it's called Iconic or something, but it's got um, it's got a food court on the top floor apparently with really good views over the river, so I might go there at some point. I'm not going to walk through the market today, I don't think, because it's very, well maybe I will. It's very busy and it stinks. So this is where like all the local restaurants come to buy their produce and local people. It's probably open pretty much 24-7. To be honest, oh yeah that smells already hitting my nostrils. Smell of raw meat. <laughs> but it is a massive market. You can kind of see the market from here. Hive of activity. Very fresh produce. Hi. Very fresh produce. Yeah, it's just mad busy. I love the old style buses. They keep talking about getting rid of them, but they never seem to. So, so that's the old style shopping mall with the restaurant at the top one great thing about Google Maps like you would never find that stuff you would never ever find that stuff without Google Maps unless you lived it yeah those retro shopping malls are really cool yeah so this is the Riverside fitness area in Samut Prakan really nice gets really busy as well we've got pull-up bars got little machines you got a great view of the river yeah I saw a massive lizard in there I love the way the birds stand on the uh, the plants that are flowing down the river And the older people working out because it's Wednesday, youngsters are at work. <laughs> and 
Oh, that's really funny. So that's, that's like a, a mocker for Big Ben, like a mini Big Ben, which is on the main road. If you're coming into Summit Pracan, I think there's a junction there. It goes that way to Robinson and this way down to the market. <laughs> but yeah, Thailand's a pretty quirky place. So do some exercise. That's quite a nice way to exercise. <laughs> This is such a cool place to exercise. That's seven o'clock in the morning now. I think that's a dredging boat out there. I think that's what that is. A temple over there on the island. There's a ferry that goes from here out to there. You see them moving back and forth. I asked Cameron about that, he said it's not very interesting. We've got some Isan music from the east of Thailand, which is nice. I'm gonna go and see that tower on the way back. So I think I worked out why I didn't see any boats last time I came here because I think it was a Saturday or a Sunday I had on a Sunday or a Saturday I think they, they just don't run <coughs> as many I thought with something like shipping it the weekends didn't really count but maybe they do <laughs> so yeah really good spot to exercise there's a couple of soldiers in front of me the guy in the white and the black t-shirts i think they've got a small base around here somewhere because they're guarding the provincial court there's a couple of well no there's more than a couple there's a few soldiers stationed there guarding the court so they must yeah they must have a barracks a little barracks somewhere mind you saying that yeah there, yeah there definitely is but the naval college is there but they're going to be army army aren't navy i'm confused <laughs> got this covered walkway here that leads all the way to the sky tower i think but the entrance was closed down that way i'm not seeing anyone using it okay so it is open there's someone on there so i might actually take a walk because this footpath ends just there so i'll take a walk to the sky tower and then i'll Come back and see who's still around there's a couple of women that are really cool like they're in their 50s maybe they're wearing all these brightly colored outfits and then one of them puts on this like quite upbeat isan music in the morning which is pretty cool yeah you get a nice view from up here yeah we're over the water here this whole thing is built on on top of the water Oh shit. Very cool. Yeah, they have these covered walkways all over Bangkok. Basically, to keep you out of the sun. <laughs> when it's really hot. Woman just came past me and said, good weather today. And what she means by that is, yeah, it's cloudy, so. Yeah, I'm loving it, the weather. Building something interesting. That'll be a really fancy building probably. Post office, Pak Nam, okay. Rai Sani, post office, Pasatai, Rai Sani. Oh, here's Big Ben, just over here. I'm interested to see if I can walk all the way to the Sky Tower um, on this thing. I think I can, which is cool temple look you don't need to go all the way up to Chiang Rai to see the white temple I've got one here okay so that entrance is open for some reason but all the other ones aren't so the security guard just told me that they've just made it new it's not open yet said Tam my set not finished building it yet
hurry up. He looks finished, doesn't he? Simplicity brings clarity, it reads on that girl's t-shirt. That is a good point, that's something about Thailand, it's quite a simple place. Oh, this is a famous junction in, in Samut Prakang, Yek Junction. If you go left, it takes you to Robinson Mall. If you go right, that goes down to my hotel. And I tried to tell the taxi driver the other day, he'd be better off going this way because there's no traffic lights. But he didn't listen to me. <laughs> how funny is that? Coffee by the cop. Like this coffee shop is literally attached to the police station. <laughs> oh my god, only in Thailand. I'm gonna try a restaurant up here. Nice little restaurant. All the government offices around here. Got lab moon and rice. <laughs> Had to order the rice, weirdly. So this is the little shopping mall. Opens at 8. Hmm. Well, maybe the upstairs isn't open yet. Very old style. KFC. Oh yeah, it's not open. It's not open. Oh, okay, that opens at 10. Yeah, that makes sense. Saw the taxi driver eating some of this. 20 bar. What's that? Less than 50p. <laughs> Fried down the sticks. How cool is it? And you see little people riding big motorbikes, no crash helmets. <laughs> Pretty cool. Fuck it. So some old buildings getting torn down today. I started doing it yesterday or the day before. Quite a project. Oh, can I get across the road? Quiet little coffee shop. <laughs> Working out what the fuck I'm gonna do. <laughs> right now, I have no idea. 